Hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe. Now, I think I found my new favorite screwdrivers. Uh, I'm not the first to do this. I think I've seen people do this before, but if you haven't heard or seen this little hack, I'm gonna show you real quick. And I got the little brother also to show you. All right guys, so these are both the, uh, these are both Klein. They're both the switchblade option that you can, uh, you know, put your impact ends into it. So essentially the stubby is an eight in one that I've converted to a nine in one. And then we got the 14 in one, which I've converted into an 18 in one. So, to show you a couple of things I've done to these or added to them along with some other uh, Malco and DeWalt bits that I've used and what I carry in my uh, MB3, my everyday bag for troubleshooting and service calls. All right, so for the longest time, I've always recommended, highly recommended this Klein uh, HVAC 8-in-1. Now what I do appreciate with Klein is that they make HVAC tools, right? So these are specifically for us in the HVAC field that need that Schrader remover. I use it a lot. So this is the eight in one with the magnetic slide driver. So you get 516 and quarter inch just by sliding it back and forth. I usually just leave it unlocked and then use it as I need to. And then you have your thermostat screwdriver, Schrader core remover. You also have hollow nut drivers on this side, quarter, 516 and three eighths, along with your slotted and Phillips. Pretty standard stuff that we use every day. I always recommended this. I even gave one away on Instagram. This was my favorite all-in-one that I would just grab, throw in my pocket sometimes and go change out a contactor, a thermostat, something quick and easy. And it was also in my bag every day. But recently, I went out, went out and grabbed the, the Klein 7-in-1 uh, flip socket. I chose not to get the handle. I didn't see a point in it. I usually use this in my drill or electric screwdriver. And I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It's quarter inch, 516, 11 32nd, 3 8 7 16 and a half inch. Everything you need. A little bit of a, it's a little cumbersome trying to get what you need because you got to slide out from the bottom as well. Uh, if you're going to use the 11 32nd, sometimes it's not deep enough. You just have to leave it on there a little loose. And I can get most of my motors out like that. So we got to put this back through the bottom and that's how you assemble that. And the cool thing was that if you flip this up a little bit, you can throw in a bit, any bit that you want that can be held magnetically like that quarter inch bit. So very versatile. Like I said, I used it mostly in my drill, uh, my impact. And then I saw the 14 in one. So basically if you buy the 14 in one, it's gonna be this one right here. Same concept with the shaft. The handle makes it adjustable to different lengths and you get that bit on the end as well. The cool thing with this is everything's built into the handle. You have everything here, different sizes, and then you got that Schrader remover which is why it's an HVAC uh, screwdriver. So I saw this, and like I said, I'm sure other people have done it. 
you can put that socket set in here, right? You have all the bits at your disposal and you basically have a 14 in one combined with six nut drivers. Well, the 14 in one included this, right? So you're, you're really getting a, an extra four bits so that's why I said it's an 18 in one. This is awesome. I just throw it in my bag like that. Very uh, simple. And then of course, if this is too long for you, take off what you're not using, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Drive it down and you can have different size of a screwdriver there, different sets. In case it's too long for you, at full extension you can drive it all the way down so now this is my 18 in one that I carry with me now if you want a stubby version of course Klein has your back they make this uh, 8 in one stubby so it has also the bits in the handle here uh, no shredded core, core remover but you're gonna have that for that or you get you know the the eight and one that I like but I don't have a stubby in my mb3 and now I, I went out and bought this one the only thing is that it comes with this bit here which you can throw bits into and use it as a stubby for uh, Phillips slotted and different you know the different tips that you might use but it's only quarter inch so I had another one that was a six in one and you would flip it around and it, it was a 516 on the other end and a quarter inch on the, on the other end. So I was like, that's kind of useless in my opinion. So I've had these DeWalt bits and I'll get to my point in a bit, but this is also a cool set if you, if you want a little kit. So it comes with the impact piece right there. And then this one you would need to change out each individual, but you still get the magnet and it's a good uh, set. It just does not have 1130 seconds. So it has everything else that this has except that one size. So this was kind of cool. I threw this in here before Klein came out with all this. And that's how I got my different sizes for like my impact when I needed to remove half inch screws and whatnot. So that was that solution. Cool kit. Quickly did not need it anymore once I got this and the Malco ones. So I had the Malco one too. This will stay in my bag as well. This is that new style with the slimmer end very cool as well so if you do get this dewalt set uh, this is the same as, as the malco so that malco reversible one so that's what i had i had these individual sizes and then i kept um the malco one so if you just have the malco bit and you grab one of these they're interchangeable like you could put that that's why i had this and then i grabbed like the half inch and the three eighths or whatever i needed in the bag and if i didn't need this i switched to one of these i just never saw the point in getting the reversible three eight one because i i had a bunch of these which i use more and then if i needed three eighths i just grabbed it from this kit and like i said they fit and they're interchangeable for this kit because this kit has a shorter uh, shaft like the Malco bit. So those are almost identical. But DeWalt also makes flip sockets and their uh, shaft here is a little different than the Malco one. 
so it is longer which got me thinking now the Klein let's see yeah Klein and Malcol do not fit together uh, Klein uses that little uh, star shape at the bottom for theirs and then but this DeWalt one it since it's longer what I was doing before I got before I got that handle was I had this stored in my bag as well these actually fit because it's longer so you throw it in there and you can actually get your clients on this short stem if this is too long for you so I carry at least you know one long one and one short one if I need to use a short one these Klein bits do fit on there all of them all, all the way up to the half inch the magnet might sit in different places depending on what size but it for the most part it fits and this is the uh, DeWalt flip socket I got this one at Lowe's it's the black I believe this is impact rated Home Depot has a set but it's like a gray color it's a little bit different I want to say they're, they're the same form factor shape and everything and I do want to point out that I think DeWalt they come in a set like this so you get two of the stems with all these uh, sizes so each one is reversible four sizes in all a pack of two I thought this made more sense of what Malco was giving because Malco had 3 8 and 5 16 and quarter inch and 5 16. I didn't need double a 5 16. So DeWalt does 5 16 and quarter on one and 7 16 and 3 8 on the other. Just so I can get a little more out of it, I grabbed the DeWalt ones versus the Malco uh, 3 8 reversible. And like I said, they have them at Home Depot and Lowe's. This is the Lowe's version. For some reason, they have different. Uh, different versions at each store all right so now with all the mess that I have here if I take that DeWalt one and throw it in the stubby now I have a stubby that can take the Klein one and still be able to use a magnet because it has that longer extension here versus a Malco bit that just comes a little short. So if I do that and I use a bit, you know, that it came with, we can use any bit that we have in here. Throw it in there. Have a quarter inch and a 516 all in this little 8 in 1 stubby which essentially I'm just adding the 516 that's why I said it's a 9 in 1 now and I'm sure they'll come out with one eventually because they're still new to making these uh, sockets but I made my own there and then if we put all this back together These are my two go-tos now in my everyday bag. And uh, this is gonna be like a little loose just cause it, it can only grab on to the very bottom, that little groove there. So I don't know if that's gonna bother you or not, but that's making it as short as possible to keep that stubby factor. Okay, so if I add a, the Klein shaft, it's gonna make it you know really long so yeah these are the DeWalt ones that I, I've had I used to use these as well and that's what's gonna fit because of the length with these Klein sockets and make those basically interchangeable now if this is still too big 
I love this electrician ratchet. There's the part number. Because this is 516 and quarter inch ratcheting. And I've recommended this, this a lot. And essentially you can also use bits in this too. So if I need the shortest clearance possible, this is my go-to. Essentially now I don't need this piece. And I can use these that are in the bag and then grab whatever I need from here. And they'll be interchangeable. So then like this is my ultimate lineup for Phillips slotted um, Schrader core removers and all these nut driver sets and sizes that I need. And they're all made by Klein. Klein makes incredible tools, super convenient, and I love this lineup right here. Highly recommend these. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Um, these little tips that I have for you. Not going to need this little piece that came with my electrician ratchet anymore because I'm going to have all the bits I need in these two handles here. So we're going to continue forward with these two and the ratchet. And I have a few of these Malco bits thrown around. I'm probably going to throw one back in my bag. Can never have too many uh, nut drivers sockets so i think this is officially going to overthrow my favorite screwdriver before which was the eight in one i personally prefer the versatility of this and the convenience of just being able to throw this in the bag and not have to worry about anything so it's going to go in my mb3 it fits nicely in the outside pocket and the other two are going to go inside in the front so we're good there throw the extra Malco bit in there too and we are golden so yeah on honorable mention was the DeWalt bits if you're looking for compatibility with the Klein the not the kit it's gonna be the socket set that fits these right here the reversibles those fit well because of the length with the Klein bits that they have now. So, little tip there. And this does come with the little, basically quarter inch um, thermostat screwdriver. So then that allows me to take out my pocket screwdriver that I had here. And it should also have a quarter inch Phillips So for those thermostats, you should be covered as well. If we compare it to the Klein, the thermostat screwdriver, this is another HVAC uh, screwdriver because it has the Phillips and slotted that'll fit in the, in the uh, thermostats. And then it also has the core remover. This one's cool if you want to throw in your pocket. I just, I didn't have room for it. It's a little fat on the end there. So I put it in this uh, install bag instead. But for comparison, it's the same bit there basically. So using this for thermostats, I can basically switch over to this one now. And it truly is an all-in-one. So all the drivers, bits, thermostat size, um, screwdriver. So all-in-one. So yes, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate all the support. We're almost at that 3K club. 
Maybe we'll do a giveaway then. I do have something planned for 5K, a big giveaway. So if you're new here, if this video reaches out, you know, all these other people, uh, please subscribe while you're, you're here. It's free, it's easy, it's quick. Go hit that button and let's continue to grow. I appreciate everybody who watches. The support's been incredible. And yeah, stay tuned. I got some companies that want me to review their stuff, their tools. Um, I do training videos now too. And I have some service calls coming up. I have a lot to edit through, a lot of long calls, crazy calls. So we're gonna be uh, uploading those soon. And uh, I'll see you guys.